All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and pretty excited about today's episode. Uh, we're gonna be heading out to a new track that I've never been to, Apple Valley Speedway in Southern California, around Victorville, Los Angeles area. Um, so we've never been there, super pumped to go out there. Uh, the scoundrel guys are throwing on a birthday bash for their uh, one of their buddies. So I'm super pumped to go hang out with those guys. I've never drifted with them. I've seen them drift and uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, actually maybe drive with these guys. So it uh, should be a pretty fun event. I gotta get everything loaded in the truck and then we're gonna head out. Isaiah's coming with us. Uh, he's bringing his Miata, obviously. We're gonna start getting the car loaded up and get the truck packed up and stuff like that and, and get, get on the road. All right, so we're all loaded up. So I guess we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna go meet up with Isaiah. Linked up with Isaiah. Oh, oh, damn, damn, son. All oh, those. What? Oh, can't run your face. Wow. Processing error. Yeah. Your funds are no longer uh, are no good here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get some gas. All right, so we just filled up. Uh, we are back on the road, and we got walkie talkies. So we're communicating. I am Blue Falcon and Isaiah is Red Rocket. Um, so we got that settled and it, uh, all systems are a go. So, uh, and we'll see, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so we made it out here to Apple Valley. It is dark AF, and uh, we got the lantern set up. We made some coffee, some s'mores. So we got a bunch of other people out here camping. But it's cool. You can kind of see the, the city down there. You guys probably can't because it's too dark. But so evening coffees. Yeah, I got my evening coffee. I have my evening coffee. You guys are drinking morning coffee. It's not the same thing. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning when, uh, when we'll wake up, get the driver's meeting done and tech and all that stuff. So, all right, guys, see you guys in the morning. Just hanging out. All right, so we finally made it out to Apple Valley Speedway. Pretty excited. Track looks really good. They just repaved it. Pretty excited to run a new track. And man, it's, it's pretty nice. Surface looks good. They painted it, stripped it, striped it, all that.
midday update. Uh, there's another rally to report. Uh, the car's doing really well. Um, we're doing about five laps every every session. Uh, it's a little hot out here. I uh, probably need to burp some of the air out of the cooling system and because uh, I think it's causing the temperature to rise. But uh, we'll get that uh, dialed in maybe tonight or something. We'll get, get some water to put in there. Um, but yeah, dude, the course is awesome. The new steering angle is amazing. Like I can just like throw it in and I just have so much more uh, room, you know, just to throw the car way harder and, and, and stay, stay in drift and not spin out. So super pumped on that. And the car's driving like, I would say like an Assetto car, like a Tando Buddy car. It drives real, real snappy, throw it in, uh, plenty of power and all that. So uh, really, really stoked on that, man. I didn't, I wasn't trying to make it as simple as like a Tando Buddy car, but it is, it is awesome. So, all right, uh, I'll check in with you guys later.
gonna try to get at least 30, 35 laps done before the end of the day. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. It's pretty windy here. It was pretty windy yesterday, but uh, I mean the vent's pretty good. Like I haven't broke anything on the car. Fingers crossed. Uh, today we're gonna try to branch out and get some candles with some other people. Uh, yesterday we were me and Jose were kind of exclusive with each other just because uh, you know uh, etiquette, I guess, and just like trying to jump in on anybody and stuff so we're gonna coordinate it like more more tandems with people that uh, we've never driven with today so uh yeah but like uh the new steering angle kit that we put on the lowers or whatever amazing dude there's so much more uh just uh angle there and it's amazing like i didn't spin out one time yesterday and what the old the way it was before the limited angle and then like with a little bit of rubbing and stuff the car uh i would spin out not a lot but when i got into problematic situations i would uh usually spin out but now uh now i have that just a little bit more leeway and then the fact that it doesn't rub because i you know i got the little steering bump stops i guess uh it doesn't rub and that when it rubs it acts as a brake and it'll kind of like Pull the front end out from underneath you and you'll fucking uh, rotate the car over so uh with that problem being solved and everything like that like it's so much fun because like uh, any of you guys have ever played uh aceto and done like tando buddies the car feels exactly like the tando buddy car pack like oh it's just so amazing dude i'm <laughs> so stoked on this thing dude i had so much fun yesterday man i was I felt like I was shredding, and then I was just like, I was getting on Isaiah's door, and fuck, oh man, it was just a blast all around. So, uh, super stoked. The wife's uh, cooking up some breakfast, so I'm gonna get some food in my belly. Drank way too much last night, but you know, you gotta when you come out here, you gotta, you know, you gotta do those kinds of stuff and, and have a good time. Because why else do we do it if we're not gonna have fun? Uh, but yeah, the scoundrel dude is a uh, super good host, uh, Flavor Express, uh, they're the ones putting on the event, did a fucking fantastic job, um, and today we're gonna, we're gonna branch out and make some homies, so, uh, I will check in with you guys later, and get you guys updated and stuff, uh, yesterday, like, it was pretty uneventful, so, I didn't really vlog too much, cause, the car's running good. No one cares. They want the car to run like crap. That's what gets the views, right? So. Uh, yesterday, it's really close. Uh, as you can tell, it's all nice and fresh out there. They just came in fine. And uh, they just made it to the your car.
Let me come down. I know, you're still pumped. Uh, uh, it's like orange, orange, you, orange. Now that the leaf blower, oh my god, <laughs> as soon as I turned the camera on, uh, he's going he's going around the corner. I thought he was done, but whatever. Well, let me get a good beat. Wow, wow. Yeah. Oh, it's crap. Watch, two seconds. Oh, two seconds. All right, let's start talking. So, we're going to restart this Thank again. You. So, uh, I think I filmed the outro at the track, but it was super windy, and um, I'm doing this one just in case the audio quality was, was shit on that one. So uh, the weekend was pretty good. Me and Isaiah did a lot of good driving together. Super stoked on that. Um, I was like, super stoked is like an understatement. Like, I was like so pumped. I don't even know how to describe it. You know what I mean? I was like, we were just killing it. He was on my door, I was on his, and we were just having, we were we synced up really good. We In the past, we've kind of struggled on syncing up, like even in a set of course that we have. A little bit uh, hard time syncing up but like it all just kind of came together I don't know if it was the track layout or all the sim time that we were doing or we just like we're just feeling the vibe and and turned it up but it, I don't know it was pretty awesome and then uh, then then we got invited to drive with uh, some of the some of the the party drivers up there the team scoundrels the flavor Express guys and stuff like that and those dudes fucking kill it too so it was awesome to get invited to drive with them you know because it's there's kind of like a etiquette you know what i mean you kind of just like hang out throw down and then if someone someone sees that you're killing it they'll they'll invite you into their little their little group and then then it's on you know what i mean but you kind of got to wait for that to happen and uh too bad it didn't happen till like sunday when they're like they just they thought we were being exclusive and not wanting to drive with them and, and it wasn't really that way we were just kind of like being reserved and chilling out and letting them kind of come to us and eventually like they did and then I was like let's do it let's let's drive I'm been waiting for this my whole life you know so but uh, the car did really well I mean we uh, she's dirty she's got a little she's got beat a little bit but um, 
we uh, we exploded a tire, but other than that, it's all all visual stuff, so we can't complain about that. Like angle kit, uh, awesome. The fr the low front grip setup, it works really well um, as long as you don't understeer. Like if you can keep the car from understeering, it, it actually works out really well. But like once it understeers, you have like you have to. Uh, adjust very quickly or it's over you know what I mean you have to get back on the e-brake or something or clutch kick it and get that thing to pitch back sideways um, if you don't you're gonna understeer and pretty much go off the track uh, but I still like it. it it worked really well the increased angle was awesome uh, the car ran cool for the most part we were doing like three or four hot laps and then doing like a a cool down lap and stuff like that and maybe a, a lot had to do with tire management we we're trying to uh, get as many laps as we can off these tires and and just conserve as much as possible we ended up doing you can see right there on my little ticker we did 75 well I did 75 we were pretty pretty close I might have missed a few laps uh, on the ticker but um, but yeah, 75 laps was pretty good for uh, a two-day drift event. I mean, we were going pretty hard um, there for a while, trying to get as many laps. I think in one session we got, what was it, 18 to 20 laps or something like that? We went super crazy in that time period. And uh, the cars held up, they did perfectly fine. The angle kit, angle kit is amazing. I love it. This car drives like a Tando Buddy car now. Like you just like, flick it in and it just uh, and you never really spin and even like the understeering part it understeers kind of like a tando buddy car like if you don't flick it hard enough the car will just understeer it's yeah you just got to have good a good turn in and just like clutch kick it or e-brake it or whatever and just make sure you stay in drift you start shallowing out get back on that e-brake and and uh just stay on it but it's rare. It's usually a driver error when I'm understeering, but we'll get better at it. But we added walkie talkies and like, it was like game changing for, for the traveling. It was awesome. Cause we could coordinate. I mean, obviously we could use a cell phone, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it was just kind of a fun little game, you know? Um, but also like driving in the cars, we were able to coordinate and go, Hey, uh, switch positions or, Hey, I need a cool down lap and, or uh, I need to go back to the pits for whatever reason. And it was much easier to, to coordinate. I don't know why I'm holding my hand up like this, like I'm talking on a walkie-talkie, but we were able to coordinate much better so that way we could sync up and get in line together, uh, go back to the pits together and all these different things. And, um, you know, if I, if I needed something, I could radio him and vice versa. So that was, uh, I think, I think that's gonna be the staple from now on is just having that. I wish more people had radios. So like, like you could like maybe hand them out to people and be like, hey, here's a radio. Um, let's coordinate and sync up a little bit. Cause I, I don't know about you guys, but the hardest thing is like people start going in and out of the pits at different times. And then they're on track, you're changing tires. And it's very hard to sync up. And uh, just to make that just a little bit easier. Uh, I think that's uh, what the walkie talkies really do. So. Get yourself some fucking walkie-talkies, all right? They're awesome. Also, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.